Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are going to be checking out the Masters of the Universe New Eternia Too Bad part of the Masterverse series. Uh, this is one I've been pretty excited about. Uh, you might even remember that I made a video when this one was announced just because this new design uh, was so awesome but also kind of weird to me at first but i'm actually really excited this is a huge action figure like i was really surprised just to see how big this one was in the packaging and it's interesting because this is not one of the deluxe figures the deluxe figures usually come in those larger like wider boxes but this still isn't the standard size masterverse box it's like a it's labeled as an oversized figure at target uh, which is where i believe this figure is exclusive to um so that's one thing i'll say about masterverse I do feel like it's a little confusing. They're kind of all over the place with like the size boxes they use and what they consider deluxe and, and whatnot. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a big dude, uh, which looks like he's also got a lot of extra parts in there. So I'm pretty excited to check this one out. As we rotate around to the side, you can see some gorgeous artwork there of this new version of Too Bad. And then again, rotating around to the backside. Uh, look, he's like fighting off a Kraken or something there. How cool is that? Got a bio up here for the new Eternia version of Too Bad, as well as a cross sell showing other figures currently available in the line. So awesome stuff, great artwork, but the figure inside looks incredible. So let's pull him out of the box and get a closer look at him. Holy crap, this figure is huge. <laughs> Seriously, okay. Let's bring the tape measure in here. And you can see from the bottom of the feet up to the top of Badra's head over here, we are over eight inches tall. Over eight inches tall. Like, when you look at this dude next to Skeletor, he towers over him. He's bigger than Beast Man. This is a big, chonky figure and it's the first time that too bad has ever been represented um this large of a stature i mean it's really cool though i like it um when this was first revealed one of the things that was really weird to me was the fact that we've reversed the height of these two characters here uh, and i say two characters meaning tuvar and badra which is how they were introduced back in the 2000 x series that's where they first gave these guys two separate names they were two separate characters they were combined together but that show also kind of solidified the fact that badra the purple side stood shorter than tuvar the blue side and that's how that figure was in the 2002 toy line. And then even in classics, they kind of continued that. Not quite as big of a difference, but the purple side has for many years been presented as shorter than the blue side. So when this came out and Badra is now the taller one, it, it really messed with my brain a little bit. I was like, that is so weird <laughs> seeing it opposite like that. Um, but this is supposed to be a new take. This is part of the new Eternia series. And what they've done with new Eternia so far is they've done new takes on these characters that also pay homage to concepts of these characters. And they did that with too bad here in some really fun ways. So, the size difference is just, it's something new and it's something that you have to get used to, but it's not a bad thing by any means. I think this is a very cool looking toy. And one of the things that I really love is how they went all out on uh, the details on these guys, making them look like two completely different types of characters mashed together. Um, you know, the scales on the Badra side have always kind of been a thing, uh, but you can see he's all those sculpted scales on there. There's a nice wash in there that really brings all of that out. We've even kind of got some fins on the arms and the legs down here. Uh, but one of the things that's kind of new on uh, the Tuvar side is all of this line work for his muscles like the way his skin almost looks so wrinkly all the way through is a really interesting new design take on this guy and again uh the colors look really nice there's clearly a wash in here that makes all of that stand out just a little bit so very cool stuff i like that quite a bit uh the faces i think look pretty good i mean they got those bright red eyes there's some good paint up there um you know you got actually some metallic purple on the horns of badger which is really nice the kind of gold eyebrow thing there uh one thing that's a little strange to me this hoop earring over here on the tuvar side the solid blue plastic inside of it really stands out to me so it just looks like he's got this hunk of blue plastic hanging off of his ear um and once you see it you can't unsee it so i apologize for pointing that out to you um but otherwise i really like this and really does still hold true 
to what you would expect from Vintage Too Bad. The armor with the color and everything looks like the Vintage. The silver on the boot and glove on this side, um, which is really cool. I love it. I think he's a great, great design. Now let's talk about some of the fun little things they did that nod to the concept art. Specifically, this belt right here. The emblem on this belt buckle pays homage to the early concept art for Too Bad, where they were working through different design ideas for the character. But that little logo there was uh, present on those early concepts. So it's really cool to see them work that in on this belt. This belt is also removable. So if you want to pull it off, you just have the standard red belt furry loincloth underneath. But also they included this holster on the belt, which has a little blaster on there, which is kind of cool. That's something kind of new uh, for the character of Too Bad. Uh, you can see it's like same color silver uh, as the boot and the glove over on the Tuvar side. And he doesn't have like a trigger finger or anything. So it looks a little weird in his hand, but it's not too bad. Uh, it, <laughs> I see what I did there. It's not too bad. It's kind of neat though. It's neat that they included some extra weapons like that. And this guy comes with all kinds of weapons. Um, these other weapons also nods to the concept art. These two clubs right here also come directly out of that original concept art. How cool is that? So this greenish one is molded in sort of like a pearlized green plastic. This one's molded in like a pearlized maroon plastic. And we can get him to hold those in his hands. Now, one of the things I want to point out, uh, very, very tight grips on his hands. The first time I specifically put the green one in his hands, I did have to warm the hand up in order to get it in between the fingers. Uh, after the first time, it's been fine ever since. But uh, just a word of warning, this is another one of those figures that does have some tight joints. So pretty cool to see that he's got those included weapons. Now, aside from that, they also created a brand new battle ax for him, which is also designed like that belt emblem there, where it's like a bird and a dragon together. Very cool looking ax. And on the back of his armor, he does have this really cool holster. Now, I love this holster can turn. It can rotate. It definitely looks like a face with a mouth there, right? Which is pretty cool. But you can rotate that upwards if you want to. All three of the weapons can fit on there. So you can plug the axe on there or the clubs on there if you want to. They all fit. So whichever one you want to store on his back, you have the option to store one of those weapons on his back. Personally, I think the axe looks really good there. And then you put the clubs in his hands. It's a pretty cool effect. But... If you also want to go old school with your too bad, he does come with a shield that is very much like the vintage figure. I do love the deco on there as well. You'll notice that one half of it has squares. The other half has circles. One half is a little more rigid. The other half is clean. And they even worked that dragon bird emblem into the middle there. It's a really, really cool design. And the way this works is... It's got the uh, larger strap and the shorter strap on there, so it fits on the left arm, and it actually fits over the hand pretty good there. That way he gets a pretty good grip on it. Now, also, if you don't want to use those open hands, he does come with interchangeable fists as well. Definitely worth mentioning that. So you can swap the hands out for the closed fists if you don't want them to hold on to any of the weapons. This is another place where the joints were very tight. I had to warm these up the first time to be able to swap the parts. I don't know what's going on with the plastic lately, but it feels like a lot of toys have been like that. So uh, if you have the same issues with the hands... Uh, just try warming them up with some warm water or even low setting on a hair dryer. That'll usually help you be able to pop those hands out of socket and swap the new ones in in its place. So uh, aside from the tight joints on that, uh, I think this guy's pretty fantastic. And I guess it is worth uh, going over the articulation here too. I got so excited about all of the accessories and everything uh, that we haven't even done that yet. So of course he does have two heads, right? Both on ball joints, both also removable. So you can actually pop those off the joints, just like we've seen on all the other figures. Uh, arms are the same as before. Arms can go outwards, forwards, backwards, swivel at the bicep, double joint at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, and hinges at the wrist there. Torso can roll all the way around. You can swivel the waist left and right. Uh, joints at the thighs can go make the legs go outwards, forwards, backwards, swivel at the thigh cut, 
double joints at the knees which are nice and tight swivel at that boot cut and then the ankles can go forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side so uh pretty much exactly what you would expect from masterverse at this point uh some of the joints are very tight like in the knees but otherwise everything seems to function very very well on this guy and with all of those cool weapons and everything you should have no problems getting some fun poses out of him all right guys it's comparison time and we're gonna do lots with this guy just because i want to show you the evolution of this character let's go ahead and start with the masters of the universe classics version because i want you to see how much bigger this masterverse one is than classics it's kind of insane <laughs> and you can see what i was talking about on even on classics the tuvar head the blue head sits a little bit higher than the badra head so you can see the opposites there but where it really stands out is on the 2000x version and that's what we're going to show now because that's the one where they really went hard on them having different statures entirely so looking at these guys side by side you can see just how opposite they are and since I showed you those two, I feel it's only right to show the vintage two bad here. Looking at all of our two bads together, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a great character, and he's had very few figures over the years. So it's pretty cool to see him get the Masterverse treatment. And there you go, my friends. There is a look at the new Eternia two bad. Honestly, one of my favorite figures in Masterverse. He's pretty dang incredible. I really like this guy. And New Eternia continues to be my favorite part of Masterverse so far. I just find all of these designs to be fun and fresh, yet still tying to the originals and bringing in concept stuff. All of that is really exciting to me. Too bad is awesome. He's definitely worth picking up. So this guy is hitting target stores right now. I think he might be exclusive there. I'm not entirely sure, but that is where he can be found. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.